Welcome back to Container Crops, the Scaredy Cat Gardener. This video today is one that is absolutely 100% inspired by Lady Lead. The other day, Lady Led did a video about five reasons why your veggies may not be growing. And I'm guilty of all five reasons at some point in time. But my biggest takeaway was her number two, which was leggy veggies because they don't have enough light. Well guys, last year I successfully started, I would say 90% of everything I grew indoors from seed and I didn't have a grow light. My natural light, my sunlight coming in my rooms was just wonderful. The temperatures were great. The wind that blew in these windows right here, the sun, the direct sunlight that shined in last year was absolutely perfect. This same area that I now have my popcorn plants is where I grew all of my plants last year and they were amazing but this year mm -mm. so guys her video inspired me to not just wait until I could get some grow lights because I don't have any grow lights I couldn't get any grow lights this year no grow lights so do what you can do don't be afraid to try something different Use whatever you have. It doesn't need to be expensive. What I did, it's not a grow light, but guess what? It's a light and my plants are closer to it. And it's made a difference. <laughs> Just in the little bit of time that I've done this. So do whatever you can do to ensure that your plants are as healthy as they can be until you can do it the way you really want to do it. So I'm gonna take you all over and show you what I did. Okay guys, so this is what I have done. My makeshift light that is working. Now, this is actually just the top of a cabinet and I put them in there, bring you up a little bit closer. And as you can see, once I did that, these were kind of, they were, they were starting to get really super leggy and they were leaning over, they stood up and I know they're reaching for the light. So I elevated them and I may elevate them some more. And these, these are now doing much better. You can see where they were starting to go leggy as well. This one as well. And it's looking better. You can see right there how they were going leggy. So I actually also use my ring light because I can get that right down over them. And this is what I've done. And this is working really well so far but it's better than nothing. And that's my point to this whole video. It is better than nothing. So until I get some grow lights, this is what we'll be doing. But the rest of them are outside and these are the last ones I have inside. So we shall, guys, my takeaway from Lady Led's video was, do whatever you have to do <laughs> until you can do what you need to do or do what you want to do to ensure that your plants come out healthy. So this was my temporary fix until I get grow lights, which I really probably, well, I'm in the state that some things I can grow year round. So I can also start some things going into the summer for fall garden and things like that, that may need to be started inside still. So I'm working on the grow lights. But until then, do what you gotta do guys. Don't be afraid, don't be ashamed. Just go for it, okay? <laughs> Thank you all so much for coming and hanging out with me again, talking about my garden because we're not in the garden today. But thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me again today. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Welcome back if you are subscribed to me and if you are not, go ahead and turn that red button gray. Guys, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And guess what? Anywhere you can sit a pot, you and grow a plant. And I will see you on the trail.